to this week's episode of The Veil SMP, and you may be thinking, what are you doing up here on Town Hall with the beautiful view of most of the Veil behind you? Well, I have a very exciting and surprising announcement. If you may or may not know, The Veil is holding our first ever elections for Mayor of The Veil, and if you haven't guessed it by now, I was nominated. Me. Crazy. I know. But yeah. <laughs> so I am up here to do, I guess, my campaign speech, or whatever you want to call it. So basically, I just wanted to get a few things out, and then we will get on with the video. First of all, I wanted to say that I don't plan on changing anything to the Ville, because for one, I don't have the power. Two, I don't have any need to. I think the villa is great just the way it is, and I don't really want to change anything. <laughs> so I basically just want to keep the villa a fun and positive place to be a part of, and yeah. <laughs> and secondly, the only thing that I kind of, I guess, want to quote change is I want to have us do more group things together. As a community, I would like to see us maybe hosting live streams once a month or something where one person in the Ville kind of does something fun and we can bring our fans in and, you know, just have fun and get to know our subscribers or whatever else. And maybe we could play, like, all of the Ville members could come together and play games or go on little quests or journeys or something, I don't know, just kind of bring us all together and have more fun and to make it feel more like a group and less of individuals or every once in a while collabs, <laughs> but kind of having a lot more community events. That's what my main goal is. <laughs> And lastly, I just want to say that the first mayor is most likely going to be a whole lot of trial and error, and as you guys know, I'm pretty good at failing. Like, really good. Because I fail all the time. But I like to turn any failing or sad situation into a happy and kind of um, just positive <laughs> thing even if it's a fail. So I think that I would make a good mayor because even if I fail I'm still going to be positive and try my hardest to do a good job. And it is getting dark. <laughs> so I guess that's my cue. Oh no it's just gonna thunderstorm. Okay. Anyways that's still my cue to end my little campaign speech. Um, I am running against the amazing Ashvin so Honestly, if I don't win, I don't care. Because Ashman is my best friend and I was honestly, well, I'm still voting for Elf, so just saying. <laughs> Anyways, now we are going to meet up with Ruben and Ashvin because we are going to do some hashtag homies things since we haven't done anything in a while for the homies stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so hello guys, we are here. The homie squad is has been uh, what is it called when like people Reunited. come together? Reunited. Um <laughs> assimilated. <laughs> If that's a word. And yeah, we are going to build our little homie shop stand here. And it's going to be so cute. Um, homies is like a big business. And it's going to be everywhere. We are going to be the homies of America. Super important. Yeah, we're important. We're going to take over the world. <laughs> yeah, so we're business partners here. Let's get started. <laughs>
end of the finished build for the homie stand and so let's just get in here uh we kind of ran out of time since ruben lives in a different country <laughs> so we didn't get the chance to do an outro but here's the inside show you guys around a little bit all right, so when you come in, there are two little waiting areas or waiting chairs, and then we've got two little office areas or just kind of little desks. One is for the homies and one is for the cleanup crew, and there's a little like desk looking stuff inside here. And behind each of the chairs, there are chests with books and quills where you can set up appointments for either the cleanup crew or the homies. <laughs> so now the homies and the cleanup crew are both open for hiring. Um, basically, if you don't know what the homies group is, we are uh, the people who would come into your home or your maybe office or shop and kind of spruce it up and make it look all fancy. Um, and then the cleanup crew has anything to do with cleaning up the vill, <laughs> either from pranks or creeper holes that weren't cleaned up or demolition and stuff like that. All right, so now we are going to head over to our shops and see what kind of profit we've made this week. First, we're gonna pop in here to the bakery and let's see if I can get into the red spot here. Ooh, yes. Very nice for a week's worth. I'm going to assume that this was all bread. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yep, it was. All right, so let's head on over to Woolies. And I know that we have a chest there from Melonville uh, that was a gift of all the e Easter wool that he tore down. <laughs> and uh, so I know that that's in here. So let's get that taken care of and it away. Yes, see. Thank you very much, Melonville, for all the awesome wool. So we'll just take all this out of here and get this all put away and see if we made any profit in here. All right, pink sheep. <laughs> Stay out of the way. All right, and soon, I guess I kind of want to mention that I'm probably going to be changing the prices in the wool shop and lowering the prices a little bit now that I kind of have a handle on everything, but I have no idea what I plan on changing the prices to yet. All right, let's get in here and see what we got. Ooh, very nice. That is good profit for the wool shop since normally I don't make that much profit off of it. All right, and sometime in the near future, I'm gonna go through all of this and uh, reprice it and also restock everything that I've been too lazy to restock lately. <laughs> uh, so let's head back over towards where we first started and I should have checked the shop first. <laughs> but we're gonna check the garden shop which um, I still haven't really named but I think I want to name it something with Flopsy because I have a little garden bunny in here so everyone say hello to the garden shop bunny Flopsy hello Flopsy how are you today let's check out our profits ooh very good um, and let's see what we've sold uh, carrots mostly Let's see, do I have any? Nope, no carrots to replace it with. <laughs> Another thing to restock this week. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Be sure to check out all of my social media links in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you are in the description checking out all of my social media links, don't forget to check out all of the other Awesomeville members. They are down there in the description below. Go say hello to them and subscribe, as well as checking out the information if you would like to join the Ville, because we are always looking for more Ville members to join us, so come join in on the fun, and yeah. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, well, I am all done here, so let me show you guys around real quick. 
So I even made the little staircase which you saw and then you come down here and I'm going to fill this all in and make it a lot more homey of course. But for now this is it and I am pretty pleased with how it looks on the inside so let's see how it looks on the outside. Yes that looks